When using Part Builder to create symbols for a Lattice FPGA or CPLD, we need a special pinout file that's either available on the web or through their diamond tool. The best way to do it is to use the Lattice uh, diamond tool. They will always produce the latest and most accurate pinout file. So we're going to show you how to do that here. We're going to um, start the Lattice diamond tool, which is their compiler for their parts. You can't see it on the screen. I'm searching for Lattice Diamond, and then I'm going to open it. And we're going to use this tool to create the spreadsheet that we need. So to do that, we start with a new project. Say Next. Um, we set up our directory that we want it in, and we're going to call it LFEU. LFE 5U85 XBG 756. It doesn't have, this name isn't that important. Um, but when we pick the part, it's going to be important. So, but that is close to the part that we want. Um, we skip the add source. And then we go select the device. So we're going to come in here and we know it's in the ECPU file. So we're going to pick the LFEU85. And then we got to pick the package that we want. So it's either the 285, the 381, the 554, or the 756. We'll create the 756 and say next. Um, we can choose which synthesis tool we want. It doesn't really matter at this point. And then we finish. So we're really just creating a fake project right now. So that created the project for us with this part. And this is, you got to make sure that that's the one you want. And then we use this button and go to the spreadsheet view. So click here. And this shows us all the pins in the part. If we the port assignments because we have no HDL assigned we don't get any but here's all the pins in the part and then we say file export pinout file and we would create the part I've done this already once or twice but so let's just do it on top of that so we're gonna create that file save it yes And then we can go back to Part Builder. And we already had that one selected. We can edit that one and take a quick peek at it. And we can see it looks a lot like the um, one we get from the web, except there's no column for the, the, the there's no column for the package. It just tells us the package here, and it gives us all the information for the part. So now that we have a good spreadsheet from Diamond, we're going to use that in Part Builder, just like we did in the video that with the last video where we showed how we downloaded the part. So Part Builder is going to run through. It's going to read the pin extract file. It'll create all the inform all that's needed to create the symbols, and then it'll create the symbols. And we'll just take a quick peek at the first two symbols here. <laughs> 